Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Bally Spring. Right, so pretty much falling off on the next day after the last episode. I have done a few little things, nothing major, but I mucked out all the calves and just kind of sorted out the igloos. So that's the job done with them until we get some more calves. As you can see, all sorted. Didn't know where to put it, so just kind of placed it over the wall. And weirdly, I had a bit of snow on the shovel, so I got rid of that as well. Uh, but yeah, that's all sorted. Small job, but it's both sides, so the calves up at the top and the calves down here. I also purchased a new straw blower. Now, this actually was about 30, 30 odd thousand pounds. It's a modded version of the original one that's in the base game. And I, I sold the one that we're currently using before that for 17,000. It wasn't that much of an upgrade. Now, I was going to lease it out, but I decided against it. I thought, may as well for that kind of cash, just purchase it outright. And it's helped a lot because I put, I think I fit seven bales into there. I had like two each. It fits two in lying down and I kind of stacked it up three high and then a fourth on top. So I got a lot of straw in here. Now, I'm not going to be putting straw up with the heifers at the top of the yard now there just because I haven't actually got a manure point where it'll spawn out so not too fussed about that so I kind of sorted that out probably about 23 hours ago in game so that's in game time and I then decided because we were having an issue with the manure kind of pit you could call it the silo extension whatever you want to call it I know you shouldn't put the extension down but you know what I mean it's where the manure accumulates um, if you're feeding straw to your cows so I, what I did is I placed in this new one, which actually holds more because that one is actually originally placed down on the map itself at this farm. It only holds about 70 odd thousand litres. So this one can actually hold a million. So it's it's a bigger, much needed Im improvement and didn't actually cost that much money at all. So yeah, placed it in. I've placed it in this way. I think that would be much better. It kind of goes well and we can still open the gate. I decided to move out the, the, the stone wall. There was two sections that I removed and yeah, so at least that's working now. But as you can see, what, 13,000 litres from one day? It's insane. It's insane. That's why we need to start shifting some of this stuff. But we'll make sure we do that. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed this in game. I've had a few comments about it where it looks like well, it's actually called ghosting. Um, and it happens when my graphics card is using the DLSS feature. Now, because I play in 4K, it's kind of really important that I use the DLSS feature on the video graphics card. So if you ever see it where, I think on the farmhand, a lot of the time the ducks kind of look like the, well, I've had comments about saying the ducks look like Flash and stuff like that because it's just, yeah, it's, it's literally DLSS and it's ghosting and it actually is one, see, that, that there is ghosting. That's a, a negative effect of using DLSS. It's probably more visible when you're using it like I am with the highest game settings and then I've got it on quality mode. And if I played it without and pure native 4K rendering without any DLSS upscaling, then my frame rate would just drop. You know, it would just completely drop. It makes it, you know, the frame rate a problem in game, and especially while I'm recording because that obviously increases the demand on the graphics card. But I thought I'd just point that out because I have had a few comments about it, but it's called ghosting. Um, and there's nothing really I can do about it. It's it's a negative effect with DLSS, but I know some games are trying to optimize more, and uh, probably, you know, the more generation uh, graphics card that come out, and also games, so the versions of Farming Simulator, it will be better because yeah, it's te it is terrible. It is, and sometimes I see it myself and think, I wish that didn't happen. But uh, yeah, if anyone knows about the ghosting, maybe knows a few tip tips and tricks, let me know in the comments section because yeah, I mean it's becoming it's becoming an issue. I feel like the more 
the game's put under demand with more mods and everything else and everything more placeables I've put on the map so there's more things for it to render I see it more and more often and, and I find that a certain distance away it happens more so if I'm, I find if I'm closer it's less likely to happen and I think that is just purely because I'm rendering in more things in a wider view so yeah I know it's a bit off topic but uh, I just thought I'd point it out and see if anyone's got any advice for it that'd be that'd be brilliant definitely so in this episode what we're going to be doing is focusing purely on getting some of that slurry on the ground now at the same time i'm going to be using course play to plant in our maize fields now what our plan was with that is if we go probably to this one's better yeah we're going to put maize in 102 109 and 110 but we need to make sure if we go back to the nitrogen levels that we put in 105 110 108 and 103 that's slurry now this has already got potatoes in so we're going to do that over our seed bed technically of potatoes which isn't probably ideal but it's still you know we call it organic and all that stuff we can put the price up <laughs> i mean it'd be good if you could do that that would be an actually really ace feature within the game that if you did go organic it noticed that and you get more you know more uh more value on the crop you're actually growing it'd be nice if it's, it says is it organic is it not and you state that at the end that'd just be a nice added feature within the game within uh, fs definitely um I'm surprised I've not heard anything about that. Maybe even a mod where you can, you know, make organic versions of the crop by doing certain things. A bit like precision farming has set set points that you need to hit or set targets, should I say, to get that em environmental score up. Well, maybe you could also, you know, hit certain targets so the crop comes out as potato organic, for, for example, instead of just potatoes, and, and that has its own, like, value in the store, and it's obviously higher than just potatoes. That'd be really good. But yeah, I am completely digressing again. So 105, that's where we're going to be putting some nitrogen. We're also then going to move over to 110, and we're going to do it prior to planting because that's ideal. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up course play to probably start working in field 102. We'll start slurry spreading in 105. We'll get it to obviously move over to 109, the course play, and then again 110. But hopefully by that time, we'll have done slurry in this field. And then obviously I'm not just going to make the video just constantly me spreading slurry in four fields probably do a bit of a time lapse for two of them um and maybe just kind of cut out a bit of the work as well so it's not too repetitive on, on the video but the aim is to get four fields done with a bit of slurry and see how much we've got left because then we're going to take it to the biogas plant probably in a different episode but let's see how much we can get down on the ground and at the same time use a bit of course play so i think the best thing to do now is sort out our planter which is going to be that there with a bit of maize seeds now i'm actually going to use the big tractor for the slurry because we're going to go down to the store before we start and we're going to get ourselves an upgrade keep doing the upgrades at the moment but i think it's about time we've got a nice tractor we're making decent money now from milk i think it's just a no-brainer let's get ourselves better equipment um, not too crazy but obviously definitely you know an improved slurry spreader we're not going to go with something absolutely massive But with us having, you know, a new mower, we're going to get definitely get a new mower, and we've obviously got uh, a few improved pieces of kit now. I think it's just with the amount of slurry we're making as well, it's a no-brainer, it really is. So I should have quite a lot of maize seeds, if I remember. You can, I've still got actually some in this as well. So where where did I put the maize? Oh, I know they're in big bags. We've got one, two, three here. And then we've got grass, soybeans, and wheat. So we need to get them moved. So the best thing to do here would be to go and get into the yeah the front loader or the wheel loader, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it is a load all to me. There we go. And uh, we'll sort that out. So, so we should have... Maybe we should have a pallet fork, I forgot if we have. We should have. I'm pretty certain of it, but maybe we haven't. Let's just check if it's down here. It'll be floating about somewhere. It's not over there. And that's for the Massey. Is it over there? I think this could be it. So we need to try and just shove out this, this weight. And there we go. We sent that weight flying, but... <laughs> It did the job. 
So let's get these things moved out of the way, and then obviously we can, we can get the, uh, the Macy's in. That's going to bug me, that is. I don't know if anyone else does this, but if you see the collectibles, do you pick them up? I know it's a £1,000 each time. I know you can get, like, a bit of a bonus, but ah, I can't even pick that one up. That is typical. It was going to bug me, and then I can't even get it. Let's just see if that's on me. I think it might be, you know. That's uh, That is a shame. Ah, oh, well, we're not going to get that one then. But no, I do try and pick them up for see them. Just because it's an extra thousand pound. I wish real life was like that, where you can just pick up a collectible randomly around your house or around <laughs> around somewhere and uh, there's a thousand pound. Nice. Right, so. All filled up. It only holds 564 litres of seeds in this planter. So we're going to probably have to refill this. Um, but we're going to set up the course where we'll keep an eye on it. If it obviously needs anything, we can always come back and top it up. But let's get this sorted. 5.4 metres does sound about right for that. Number of headlands, probably two again, is, is about right. Um, and we'll start working on the centre and give a nice overlap. Why not? I think that uh, works. Did, have I told it to skip a row? Don't think I have. That should be fine. That should be fine. So, we want you to start from the first waypoint. And then we, off you go. Vehicle running costs 8,000. That's just coming. That can't, that's definitely not just gone out, surely. If it is, that's... Uh, beefy cost but yeah they should be fine so we can obviously focus on getting into the big tractor over here taking our old slurry spreader and uh, getting it sold and gonna pick up a new one I'm sure there'll be something on it if we have to lease it out we will because you know we don't want to get rid of all our money but uh, we're gonna need it for quite some time it's one of them where we could buy it we can lease it, but then have the lease to buy option on it. I think that's probably the best bet. I mean, there is a bit of slurry in this as well. So, 7,000. I mean, it doesn't hold much, does it? That's my only issue. 7,000 really isn't much at all. That was tight. That was tight. I'm just trying to think what to do with this slurry. We could go and try and spread it on one of the grass fields that we were thinking that needs doing just just quickly so 108 let's go and have a look at 108 over here just see if we can get a bit spread there we, go. we may as well get it on, on the ground definitely that was a tight tight corner that was It's doing a good job, though. It is bringing it into the green. I mean, let's be honest. This field probably didn't need this much with it being grass, but it's always good to get it on. We need to shift it, and if it means we're not going to be using solid fertilizer, then to me, this is definitely just a no-brainer. I mean, it's free fertilizer at the end of the day. And uh, we could also put a bit on our crop field over here, the canola, because there is patches in that that need... A bit of fur, so why not get rid of it? But this is obviously, you know, a small spread. If we can get something that holds a lot more and also does a bit more of a spread, then I think that's the way we should go and just have it least to buy eventually. You know, after we've used it for a few years, maybe, or even a year, um, we can purchase it outright. I mean, it does actually work out as well to be quite a profitable way of going about it sometimes to do the least to buy option. Right, so I think I've actually found the one that will be perfect for us right now as an upgrade. This is the Max Line Plus, but this is not the base game version. It's a mod that I found. I think it just changed it from being the black color to like that kind of chrome um, color, the metal. And I actually really like it. But the good thing about it is it includes a dribble bar. And we were, I think it was about 11 meter 
spread. So you can see that we're at 15. So that's that's already a big improvement. 15 is decent. It really is. And it could only hold 8,000 um, liters of slurry, whereas now it's 18 meter cubed um, capacity. So that's 18,000 liters. So we're, a big improvement. And 225 horsepower is the requirement. We're all right with that with the 400 that we've got. So I think this is really good. Now, I'm going to go for wider tires because I always think that's the way to go when it comes to having um, a slurry spreader or a muck spreader just because it's supposed to, be, supposed to be better anyway. Now, these are usually our, our wide tires, so it seems like it's only wide at the front two. But you know what? I think that should be all right. So let's have a look at the designs. I mean, it's just the end of the dribble bar. Hmm. Why not go for that? I mean, that is 5,000 more, though. To be honest, I can't justify that. And then we've got that fill. Fill, is it a fill port, fill arm? It's an arm. I know that for a fact. It's an arm that fills, or we can use it to fill, but we're not going to be using that feature. Again, FS19, one of the biggest mods I miss is the, obviously, the, I think it was called the manure extension, where you could use the, the pipes and connect them. I mean, that was a, a cracking mod, that was. Definitely much, much needed, that is. I hope that comes back, I do. Um, and then we've got the tyres, but uh, to be honest, I'm not really fussed about that. We can just keep it like that. I think that's the one. I think that's the one to go for. We'll get that, and then we'll get into the field of potatoes, and we'll get started. Right, so welcome back. I had a bit of a problem with the mod conflict, so I had to jump out game, start my recording again just from this point and sort everything out. By doing that, though, I have noticed that I've just made a massive schoolboy noob error in the game. And that is, I obviously sent out the course plate to go and do a bit of planting and realised that he wasn't moving. And I was like, why is that? That's, that's a bit weird. And then when I went over to him, and jumped in it basically said you cannot plant this crop in in March basically <laughs> and I instantly thought what an idiot what an idiot I am and it's true it's April so we've got to wait till next month to plant in the maze but for some reason in my head I'm probably in the last episode I thought this even though I, I probably looked at it and even stated it that uh, I can plant in potatoes and maize in them same months but nope that's not the case so we're gonna we're going to get this done. We're going to try and spread it on at least two fields, and I think we'll call it that. Just so I can go and recharge my brain and, uh, yeah, <laughs> not make mistakes like that. But, ah, uh, see what I mean? I'm, I'm on shutdown. It certainly seems like my brain's just not wanting to work today. But then again, this is a bit of a beefy, yeah, a beefy uh, uh, spreader. So let's go and just move this up. We'll just make our life a bit more easy. I mean, I'm, I'm struggling to think as well if this will even move this come the time when I need to. I mean, look at the back end of that. I, I think that might have been a bit too much, in all honesty. That is uh, a lot. It really is. We'll probably try and lift these up just, just about there, I'd say. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that'll do. I mean, <laughs> them. T look at them tyres. Look at them. I feel sorry for them tyres. They're just... I'm feeling the weight. Anyway, let's go and get this sorted. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually using this piece of kit now that we've got it. And it's one of them things we'll lease to buy this for sure. We'll keep hold of it. We won't send it back. And uh, with the amount of soil we've got, we can get it shifted. But yeah, let's start on the, the potato field. That's always a good one. That's definitely a good one to start on. I might just focus on actually the two crop fields as well. Let's just have a quick look just to make sure we get this right. I've made a, a, enough mistakes in this episode as it is. But yeah, 105 and 110. You can see that I did a little bit on 108. That actually worked out pretty well. But I'll leave these two. I'll do these in between episodes and then we'll start the next one with the amount of slurry we've got left. But obviously by that time, they're going to make even more. It's uh, so we're probably going to have to keep on top of and keep taking to the biogas plant, which, to be honest, isn't a complaint. It just means that we're going to be making... Quite a bit of money. But yeah, 18,000 litres. Let's see how far this will go in the field. I imagine by doing these two fields now, we're going to be going 
back and forth quite a bit to uh, refill. Hey, that's a good texture. I have to say, that is a decent texture. A really good texture on that crop. Definitely. I mean, I did say that the one on the grass after it's been cut, I didn't... I preferred the one in FS19, but that one, you know, that one has won me over, definitely. And it's, you know, it's quite visible as well, which always helps. Now, I know the field boundary is different. You can see that I'm going to miss a good chunk out here on the left-hand side, but that's, you know, that's the way the field was set up. What I did do the first time round when we, we started up on this series on the old save game is I actually set my own field boundaries, kind of sorted them out and made them, you know, a bit more suited, let's say, um, to kind of what is on the map when you go into that menu. So when you go into the, the menu, instead of what you see in the field, I kind of extended it out to, to match that. Um, and you can see by the grass, even the grass texture, you can see that it goes dark. That is technically where I could have gone up to. But it is too close. It's too close to the hedges. We've had many problems trying to do probably auto drive mainly with some features that's uh, had a bit of an issue. But course play hasn't been too bad at times. We've had issues pretty much with the hedges all along. But I guess that's what happens though when you've got collisions on your on your hedges. But we'll, we'll try our best to at least get the crop because that's the main thing. I've missed a tiny bit there, it looks like. Let's see if I can just grab that. There we go. But no, we're, we're using quite a bit here, aren't we? We really are. We definitely are. I wonder if I might miss that bit as well. It's slightly annoying. But yeah. I mean, you can see it quite clearly, can't you? where we've been, which is always good to see. But no, a dribble bar is much better. It is much better. We can get, obviously, see, it's missed it again. We're going to have to probably tidy that up when we go up and down, I'd say, for sure, because, yeah, I don't know why that would be happening there, I'll be honest. I mean, that's the one thing about a, a back plate. I wouldn't have that issue. Just try to go a little bit slower over this and just see if that makes a difference. Yeah, it definitely did. But then again, that bit as well. It's not happy with. Yeah, so we'll, we'll sort that out. We'll sort that out. Let's let's use a bit of GPS. And then we're obviously going to need to fill up soon as well. But uh, one headland should do. It shows that the probably the biggest task of this job will be refilling. Because you can see that we're actually doing a really good job when it comes to getting through the field with it being such a big spread and the task I guess is going to be as well when we start doing the the fields that have got obviously the the uphill battle let's say so there's definitely one of them over there that is a, a tricky field but yeah let's uh, let's get in the menu let's get this width sorted out and we'll set our A point there we go and off we go that is a really good slurry texture. A really good one. There we go. Job done. So we're set to go. So I'll wait for this to empty. Then we'll go refill again. Because it isn't the easiest thing to go to with it being so big as you've seen. Uh, but we'll refill. We'll get this field done and definitely get another one. And uh, I'll do a bit of time ups as well. But here we are. I, mean, I don't think we're going to make it to the end. We might just... Yeah, we're just shy. Which is not too bad. Let's see if we can... Yeah, we'll wait for it. It'll... Yeah, let's go this way. I mean, it, at some point I would like to use the... The DLC that came out, which is obviously with the hoses and extensions and stuff. Uh, I think that... That... Would be suited on this map, but we'd need to get a south one of the bigger pumps to extend out because I don't think I think it's 100 meters and then you can get up to 300 or 500 I think it could be 300 though and um, I haven't used that much did try it out once and actually really liked it but there was a bit of a you know there's a, a few bugs at the time where it was kind of flickering and getting stuck in the ground the pipe was as you were driving but the idea of it alone is just perfect 
so we could look at getting that I think it'd be suited on this map especially the grass fields that are quite close to where we'd be pumping out from but we'd need to extend it out and by doing that you're going to buy more pumps it's quite a costly thing to do but yeah it's uh, we, can, we can look into it so I've had a bit of a change of heart here. I'm thinking we may as well make this a bit of a track. I mean, I, what I was going to do is try and find something to place down in this spot. And we can still do that. But for the meantime, it just makes sense to kind of remove this out. So let's stand about here. There'll be a spot for this perfectly. There you go. And let's just get rid of it. Let's get rid of both of these. Because... I think we can get a bit of a track in there and it's just going to be much easier especially now that we've got this to do that and I actually like how that's opened it up a bit as well don't want to drive into that ditch yeah we could come into here easily now I mean that's just so much easier for us and then we can start refilling up again but yeah we could try and paint in a bit of a track if you want as well quickly now why not let's do it Right, so we're only going to do this just just a basic one. I can tidy it up after and put some, you know, um, kind of ground textures on there just to make it look a bit better. But probably about that. I'd say that's not too bad. Does the job for now. And then, like I said, I'll put a few ground textures down, a few little things around the side, kind of placeables, just to make it look like it's uh, a bit more, you know, realistic. More immersion to it sits well within the area. But, yeah, I, I like it. It's definitely improved. I'll probably keep that like that now because I can get this way much easier as well from the grass fields. And... Uh, yeah, all right, we've got, we can obviously get over here as well. And that's all sectioned off still because we've still got that heifer sitting there. I might actually leave the heifer out because we're going to be taking the cows out probably in April anyway, so it makes sense. Yeah, we're full. Let's get back in the field and stop faffing about. Truly have done quite a lot of faffing in this episode. But definitely in the next one, we will be planting in that maze. Hopefully, we'll be taking some of the slurry as well to the, to the biogas plant and see if we can make a bit of cash on the side. And then... Soon enough, we'll be upgrading that mower because I'm looking forward to getting a new mower. So, right, let's just quickly finish this bit off over here. Our steering GPS is on again. We can drop it down and off we go. There we go, job done. See if I can swing this round here without hitting that tree. Hopefully not. Just about miss it, I think. Just about. Right, this, I'm hoping this 18,000 will do a good chunk of this field now. Hoping so anyway. I mean, we've done, what, a headland pass and one up and down. So it's going to be tight, but I said that last time with the potatoes. But we did get there. We did get there. Now... I would like, it would have been perfect if I did have, obviously, you know, the, the technology on here um, for the fertiliser. You can see that it's a bit hit and miss on the uh, nitrogen map there. And that's just because you obviously can get the the manure sensor. I think it's a John Deere sensor. And it can just make sure that it's homogenised when it's coming out. And if it's not, then it'll apply at a different rate. Also, we haven't got a scanner on it all so this tractor doesn't have the, the scanners that you can obviously have within the wing mirrors and I haven't actually got a scanner on the front so when I do liquid fertilizer when we do some spraying I'll make sure definitely to remember to turn them scanners on because it's it is important I think it doesn't go to the environmental score as well so I don't think you might get the full nitrogen um, or fertilizing score if I don't use it and I think I might have made that mistake a few times when we did our last harvest but uh, you can see the levels are different like if I go into it you can see they're all scattered around and that's just because we're not using that that technology so we can definitely invest in that
welcome back. That's pretty much both fields done. I have left a few little bits, but to be honest, after I filled this up, I am going to just sort that bit out and probably down here and this one. But there is, like I said, it's not the best and it doesn't really matter because as soon as we're actually properly fertilizing these fields, uh, when the crop's been planted, so the maize is in the ground, we're going to be using obviously the right technology and we'll, we'll be using a sprayer, so we'll be using liquid fertilizer and we'll get it to where it needs to be and it'll be a lot, you know, it'll look a lot better. But it is just about putting that base layer down and saving the amount of cost and liquid fertilizer we need to put on the fields after. So really, we, we just need to finish off 108 and 103, but I'll do that in between these episodes now and I'll also finish up these little spots that I've missed as well. Um, there was a section as well in this field where I was going uphill and I was snailing it, and especially in 109 as well as I was driving from 105 to 110. So it's, it goes to show we are upgrading our kit and we have got a better tractor, but yeah, by having that big kit, you know, we're, we're hitting the point where it's struggling again. But do you know what? It's worth it. I mean, that's a beast of a machine. Again, I keep saying that, but it is compared to what we're used to on this series. And uh, yeah, much needed upgrade. So I'm, ha I'm happy about that. It's been a strange episode, though. I'm just going to say it. I've made a few mistakes kind of kicking myself for, especially in the maze one. I mean, I can't believe I actually didn't realize I couldn't plant and uh, yeah little things like hitting clipping stuff you know you know how it goes sometimes it's been a long day <laughs> but to be honest as always I enjoy playing this game it is a uh, an outstanding game it really is I kind of be lost without it now um, but yeah let's have a quick look at our animals just to see how much slurry we've taken out because it was full so if we've done well I'm happy there we go look at that that is pretty much halfway down so We've done two fields and we've nearly used half of it. And I was there thinking that we'd have enough for all fields. Now, we might get to the point where we have no slurry left after I've done the other two grass fields. And at that point, yeah, anything that we bring in after that, I guess, from the cows, we can go and sell. So we'll still have some to sell, but not as much as I originally thought, which is good news, really, because it shows that it's going to use instead of just wasting away. Um... And now we're also getting manure as well. So all the straw that I put, I think I put about 40,000 litres of straw in the last time around before the last episode when I mentioned about the fact I wasn't getting any manure. And all that straw got consumed, so it was used by the animal, but then I just didn't get any manure. So I kind of wasted that amount of straw because it really doesn't have any other benefit to put it in. Uh, in game, that is, because we don't get anything from it. I mean, really, you'd want to do it because obviously the cows need bedding, so we are doing it for that reason anyway, but... Really, in these kind of months, it's not as important, especially when we get into the summer months, because they'll be out in the fields anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad that it's gone down. We took a good chunk out, and filling up 18,000 litres at a time really does make a difference. So, like I said, I'll do some stuff in between this episode and the next one. Probably might be, we might even be in the month of April then as well, so I can actually get the maize planted properly this time. And uh, yeah. I'll do all the slurry spreading we need and see how much we've got left. Probably got two in-game days to go through, so we'll have a good chunk probably come in. And then we can, like I said, go sell that to the biogas plant, get that process through. And uh, hopefully then, as well, we'll get a chance to go and grab ourselves a new mower front and side. Because uh, I am actually looking forward to getting out and doing some mowing again. Definitely need a lot of hay. Cows are consuming hay like anything. And... Uh, it goes to show as well that maize salad just come in use, so we're definitely going to make that our probably prime source of feed for the cows. Maize salad is going to be the, you know, the stuff we use the most, really. But on that note, I am going to leave the video there, so thanks for watching. As always, really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.